Okay. Uh, yes, I just moved here from Florida. Thank you. I'm so brave. Um, I was a theater major in school. I just recently graduated and I studied theater. 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 I feel like every theater major, it's like constantly theater. Um, every time I tell someone I was a theater major, the reaction is always the same. It's like, oh, neato. That's. What are you going to do with that? Seriously? <laughs> or it's like, oh, you hate your, you have a bad relationship with your parents. Is that what it is? Or it's just like straight to the point. It's like, why? <laughs> That's stupid. <laughs> You're stupid. <laughs> it's like they're always offended. Like they're upset. And then my reaction naturally is always like, oh, mom. <laughs> We're in public. <laughs> it's Christmas time, please. Uh, <laughs> Being a theater major makes uh, role playing in the bedroom a little more work than play, I should say. Every time my boyfriend wants to like role play, I'm like, of course, baby. Do you do your vocal warm ups? Like I taught you, let's do them now. Okay, ready. Sally sells seashells down by the seashore. Very good. Diction. Sally sells sex down by the seashore. Again, project. Really getting into character now. <laughs> Sally doesn't have a father <laughs> down by the seashore. <laughs> I play the role of Sally. <laughs> he, uh, I, I like to give notes after a performance. I'm like, babe, I really need you. I need your character development to really get places, okay? Like, I'm not, I need to hear you on that last line. Like, why does your character want to punish and spank and choke and spit on my character? You know, like, the audience really needs to see that in your delivery. All right? And I don't, you know, I don't like to repeat myself, but you were stage left that last line. <laughs> Remember the blocking. <laughs> or I'll call in the understudy. <laughs> my boyfriend and I are doing long distance right now, so I'm single. <laughs> we sexed a lot more. We were sexting the other night, and I was like, oh, Oh, yeah, baby, you like that? Like, we were getting into, like, the verbal penetration, if you will. And I was like, oh, yeah, you like that? Well, just just don't forget to slip a condom on. Ooh, sexy. And he was like, that's not sexy. There's nothing sexy about bringing up condoms when we're sexting. Please don't do that again. And I was like, well, I'm, so, I'm sorry for being the only one here practicing safe sexting, but it's fine. <laughs> Won't bring condoms up when we sext anymore. Uh, just don't forget to put a towel down. <laughs> You know I'm on my period this week. Apparently you're not supposed to bring your period up when you sex the ladies. In case you didn't know. Uh, my mom still doesn't believe I have a boyfriend. She's like, Miranda, I think you're getting catfished. And I'm like, Mom, you've met him twice. Why is this still a conversation? <laughs> I have a really cool relationship with my parents because I'm an only child, uh, but I always feel like I had to overcompensate and kind of be like my dad's only boy, you know, like give my dad the son he never had. So I would do everything just like him and I would like play baseball in the yard or like hammer things to the walls or like my mom was ever out of the kitchen where she belonged, you know? I was like, Kim, <laughs> excuse me, but I think you know better than this. <laughs> Get back in the kitchen and make the men, dad, what's up? Some sandwiches, okay, we're working. Hey, hey, what'd we say about the sass? <laughs> <laughs> just like my dad and then I would always get really excited for yard work because then it was just like me and dad time just like a couple of bros out in the yard doing guy stuff and my dad would get sweaty and take his shirt off and I'm like well yeah that's like a bro thing to do so then I'd get sweaty and I'd take my shirt off and my dad was like oh my sweet thing you're 23 years old we have neighbors and we talked about this please get in the house daddy I want to help mom <laughs> I have a really close relationship, like I said, but it's not like a weird close, like, it's like a normal close. It's just like my parents, it was very relaxed, there was never an evil twin for me to kill them in their sleep with. So very, very close, but like, not weird, okay? Uh, this past month I was in Florida and my dad and I were making out. And, uh, <laughs> I know how it sounds, I'm sorry, you don't let me finish the joke. <laughs> You're just like my dad. <laughs> Never let me finish. Oh, sorry, is that too much? Uh, Alright, well, I'll go ahead and leave you on this one. Um, have a really safe night, guys. Um, and I, don't, I, like, I don't like to be preachy, but I just feel like it needs to be said. Um, when you go home tonight, use your blinkers, wear your seatbelts, and please don't text and drive. I'm someone who's very against texting and driving. Like, I can honestly say I never text and drive unless I'm drunk. So, <laughs> have a great night. I'm Randy. <laughs>